Dear students, welcome to our YouTube channel Vidya for Success. In this video, we will be studying continuation part of CET on the lesson Animal Kingdom. Yes, the next question, the vertebrates body plane includes all of the following traits except. So, vertebrate uh, animals, they are uh, well developed compared to the invertebrate animals. We have lots of difference in the characteristic feature in these two group of animals. Clear. So, in the option they have given some of the triad, we have to select which triad is uh, not there in vertebrates. The first option, option A, the ventral spinal cord. So, ventral spinal cord is actually the characteristic feature of invertebrate animals. Because in the vertebrate, the spinal cord is located on the dorsal surface of the animal, not in the ventral surface. So, this is not the uh, triad of vertebrate. Then option B, an internal skeleton. So, internal skeleton is uh, the characteristic feature of vertebrate. And option C, a well-developed circulatory system. So, circulatory system in vertebrates is well-developed compared to invertebrate animal so uh, this is the correct uh, characteristic feature with regarding the vertebrates then option d organ suspended in coelom so coelom is the cavity region so in case of vertebrate so most of the organs they are suspended in the cavity region so organs are actually suspended in the Coelom region in the vertebrates. So, among the given options, A is uh, actually not uh, the character can be observable in the vertebrate. B, C and D are actually the characters of vertebrate. So, the correct answer is option A. Yes, next question, which of the following traits do the chondrichthyes and osteichthyes share? So, chondrichthyes and osteichthyes, they are the kinds of uh, pieces. So, in these two animals, we can see fins as a locomotory organ. And both the kinds of fishes, they share some of the common characteristic feature. And some of the characteristic features are different among these two kinds of fishes. So, let us see the option, which of the option is common, which of the trait is common in both kinds of fishes. So, option A, the gills are the major site of gas exchange. So, this is uh, the right character can be seen in both kind of fishes because chondrichthyes as well as astichthyes, they use uh, their uh, gills for exchanging respiratory gases. So, this is the common character can be observable in both the animals. Then option B, the skeleton is composed of cartilage. So, this is not applicable for both the fishes because chondrichthyes are called as cartilaginous fishes, osteichthyes are bony fishes. Then option C, outer surface is covered with scales. So, the kind of scales, what we are seeing on the outer surface of chondrichthyes is totally different compared to the osteichthyes. Chondrichthyes will be having placoid scales. Then osteichthyes will be having cycloid scales. They are not sharing the same kinds of scales on the outer surface. Then option D, they have a swim bladder. So swim bladder is present in osteichthyes that is absent in chondrichthyes. So the correct one is option A. Then the next question, two chief features of mammals which distinguish them from the other vertebrates are... So, some of the characters, they are unique in the mammals. They cannot be observable in other vertebrates. So, we have to select that particular trait among the option. So, option A, airy skin and oviparous. So, airy skin is the feature present in the mammals, but all the mammals are not oviparous. So, majority of mammals are viviparous. Only few exceptional organisms are oviparous. Then option B, airy skin and mammary glands. So, uh, the animal consist of mammary glands are classified under mammals. And one more unique feature we can see in the mammal is airy skin. So, these two are the uh, unique feature can be seen in mammals. So, the correct answer is option B.
then option c mammary glands and teeth so teeth is uh, present in some other vertebrates also it is not the unique feature of mammal so c is not the correct answer then option d pinna and teeth so ear pinna is also unique feature in the mammals but teeth is not a unique feature so among the option the correct one is option b as the next question the egg of reptiles and birds have many anatomical similarities which of the following is not a common feature of both so in this question they are asking so the egg of reptiles and birds they are showing most of the common anatomical features and among the following uh, option which triate is not common feature of both so we have to select the correct option for this so option a developing embryo resides in an air filled chamber so this is not a character of reptile and birds egg because the developing embryo in both the case is present in a fluid filled chamber so amnion is a fluid kind of fluid can be seen within a membrane so amnion sac can be seen in both the animals not air filled chamber clear then option b tough exterior shell for protecting protection of embryo so this is commonly seen in both the cases then option c ability to pa pass gases between egg and environment so this is also uh, noticeable in the egg of reptiles and birds so the membrane will be present through that membrane the gaseous exchange takes place between the uh, uh, egg and inner region of the egg and environment then option d complex system of internal membrane so internal membrane is giving protection to the embryo so that complex system can be noticeable in reptiles as well as in birds but among the four option uh, the given triad is not common feature of both the type of egg is first option that is developing embryo resides in an air filled chamber is not the correct one because their embryo will be covered by a fluid next question a marine cartilaginous fish that can produce electric current is so some of the marine cartilaginous fishes they have developed a unique type of defense mechanism so because of the presence of electric organ they can escape from the uh, enemies by producing electric current so this can be seen in one of the cartilaginous uh, fish that is torpedo so torpedo is belonging to chondrichthyes uh, class so this fish has developed a unique organ that is called as electric organ so because of this organ if any enemies come near to its body it will produce as electric current so that it can protects its body by this kind of defense mechanism so let us look into the option option a pristis option b torpedo option c trigon option d scoliodon so torpedo is the cartilaginous fish developed this kind of defense mechanism so trigon is also a, a chondric taste but it is not having electric organ it is having poison sting then scoliodon is nothing but shark so the correct answer for this is option b torpedo is next question which of the following pairs of animals comprises jawless fishes so jawless fishes are belonging to the class cyclostomata so in the cyclostomata whatever the fishes we can see they are jawless fishes so let us look into the option option a mackerels and rohu so rohu is a fresh water uh, ostichthyes so this is a jawed fish not a jawless then option b lampreys and hack fishes so lamprey as well as hack fishes they are belonging to the class cyclostomata as i told cyclostomata class consists of only jawless fishes so these two are the example of jawless fishes then option c guppies and hack fishes so hack fishes are jawless but guppies are not jawless they are jawed fishes they are also called as rainbow fishes then option d 
lampre and eels so lampreys are uh, jawless but eels are not jawless fishes so the correct option among the following is option b lamprey and hagfishes then the next one lobster millipedes and butterflies all share which of the following trait so lobster millipedes and butterflies they are belonging to the phylum arthropoda clear so let us look into the option option a parapodia so parapodia is the locomotory organ of nereids so nereids are belonging to which phylum they are belonging to annelids clear this is not the answer option b cetae so cetae is the locomotory organ of earthworm so earthworm is also belonging to the phylum annelidae not to the arthropoda then option c gas exchange across the skin so this is also character of annelids because if you see the earthworm there the gaseous exchange take, takes place through the skin they are not having any specialized organ for respiration then option d jointed appendages so jointed appendages is the character present in arthropod so because lobster millipedes and butterflies they are all belonging to the phylum arthropoda so this is the common feature sharing uh, with all the given example of animals so the correct answer is option d jointed appendages then the next question the cyclostomes are so cyclostomes are actually jawless fishes so this group of fishes they are exhibiting unique characteristic feature so cyclostomes are actually habited to marine water but during their spawning they will migrate to fresh water and they will lay egg there then after few days the fish will die then uh, the new larvae will comes out from the egg then they will undergo metamorphosis in the fresh water itself then again the uh, small larvae will comes back to ocean so this is the unique feature can be seen in cyclostomes clear yes uh, let us look into the option option a marine and non migratory so they are habited to marine but they are migratory so the option a is not correct then option b fresh water form and non migratory so they are not actually belongs to fresh water clear they are habited to marine but they migrate to fresh water then option c marine and migrate to fresh water for spawning so this is correct uh, answer because they are actually habited to marine just they will migrate to fresh water for spawning then option d fresh water form and migrate to sea for spawning so the correct one is option c 